gentlemen, at this time we ask all who are able to please rise. Gentlemen, kindly remove your caps as we honor America with the playing of our national anthem. Lineups being brought to you by Kevin Solid Waste again, District. Don't try for our future food recycle. And the starting lineups first for the Winnemac Warriors coming in with a record of 2 0 under first year coach Mike Springer. He's going to start a senior wearing number zero, Jace Benty. Bentel, sorry, Bentel. And he's going to start a sophomore wearing number two, Will Malco. A junior, number four, Brendan Hines. A, another senior, number 22, John Malco. And another senior, number 32, Aiden Jimenez. The starters for Coach Springer and the Winnemac Warriors. For the Rochester Zebras, they're going to start a 5'8", junior, number two, Drew Bowers. 5'10", soft, or 5'10", senior, number five, Luke Malco. A 6'2", junior, number 11, Tanner Reinerts. A 6'0", junior, number 20, Owen Prater. And a 6'1", junior, number 23, Bryce Bogger, the starting five for the Rochester Zebras. Again, starting lineups being brought to you by Fulton County Solid Waste District. Don't trash our future, please recycle. Val, final thoughts before we get ready to go here tonight. Last time Winnemac played a game in this gym, it didn't go well for them at all. They lost 48-15 to Wabash in the sectional semifinals last year. Uh, meanwhile, the Zebras really... Uh, I really like that this crowd is really up for this. I yeah. think they were really, really appreciated how well they played against Culver the other night. Good crowd here tonight as the Zebras getting in start uh, introduced by Todd Beeler. Obviously, uh, the last time a Winnemac team was in this gym, Coach Tony Stasiak walked away with a win as well. So Coach Springer uh, trying to make it uh, two road trips for the Warrior uh, Winnemac High School uh, here at Rochester. Right. Uh, Coach Malco has had, Rob Malco's had a very good record against Winnemac since coming back against uh, Winnemac. Uh, of course, back in 2020, Rochester had a really nice win at Winnemac, yeah. and Winnemac's home floor in the sectional semifinals. Then went on and beat Rensselaer the next night in double overtime when they really did a great job on Will Larkin. Again, the pregame brought to you by Rochester Ford, home of the lifetime all of change. As we get ready for the tip tonight, the tip going to be brought to you by Farm Credit Mid-America, securing the future of rural communities and agriculture. So we get ready to tip it up here this evening. And it looks like uh, tipping it up for Winnemac will be John Malco. And for Rochester, it'll be Bryce Bogger. Winnemac beat North Miami in a sectional game here last year, but the last time they actually beat the Zebras on this floor was in 2017, okay. winning overtime that day. Here we go as we're ready to go here from Rochester so High School. That Randy was, and Val. That was Coach Malco on the sideline that day. 
Glad you could join us here on Giant FM and on TC TV4. The ball is in the air, and the tip's going to be controlled by the Warriors. Hines will run the point. He'll bring it across the timeline. Hines has it. Goes to the right side. Now over to Malco. Down in the corner. There's John Malco at the block. Goes up for the shot. No good. Prater with a rebound. Excellent defense by Prater. Quickly ahead down to Bowers. Bowers has the basketball for Rochester now at the volleyball line. Comes to the near side now to Bogger. Into the corner, Prater. Prater fakes a three, drives the lane, kicks it out. Luke Malco for three. Off the mark, no good. And the rebound comes away to Bentel. Quickly ahead. Here's Malco with the basketball on the other end. Will Malco down low into the block. Fadeaway jumper. Short rebound. Fought for and last touch by the Zebras. It'll stay here with Winnemac underneath their own basket. Uh, it's a shame that Tanner Reiners couldn't pull down the board because he made a great help side rotation uh, defensively to force a bad shot. Winnemac gets it in to John Malco and he travels. First turnover of the day goes to the Warriors. Well, Winnemac's first three possessions, air ball, air ball, travel. Yeah. Not a good start, but the Zebras have been on point with their man. No. Uh, they are playing together as a team defensively. Winnemac in the man as well. Bowers will bring it across. He'll be guarded by Hines. Back to the left side. Now he brings it back on the spin. Screen by Barger. Barger gets the pass. Now they go down to the corner to Malco. Malco has a top of the key, and they're going to say carry. Not a good pass to start the whole process there as they try to swing it back over to the corner. Another turnover. This one's on the zebra. Yeah, you can see Luke's heartbeats rushing about a million miles an hour <laughs> out there. He'll be good. Here's Winnemac with the basketball, and Hines up top. Goes right side now to... That's Jimenez. Back up top. They swing it to the left side. Now to Will Malco. Will Malco to Jimenez. Back to Malco. Will loses the ball in the paint. Picked up by Bowers. Bowers. One on two. He'll wait. Tries to go a pass between the legs. And it's going to be kicked by John Malco. It'll stay with Rochester. Carson Pollock off the bench for Rochester. He's the first one in. Malco will sit down. 6.46 to go. Still scoreless here in the first quarter. Good idea by Bowers. Yeah. Comes into Prater. If Prater back up. there, would have been a layup. Here's Prater. Three ball on the way for the right wing. Good. And Owen Prater gets the Zebras on the board in the first points of the night. Go to the Zebras, leading 3 0 on the Rochester, Gla or excuse me, on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. Assist Bogger. The top of the key here is Mendel. Mendel does it off to Hines. Hines left side. Now to Jimenez at the top of the key. Jimenez holds against Reiners. Still holds. Reiner tries to knock it loose. He does. Picked up by Bogger. Quickly ahead to Tanner. Tanner, right hand layup, up and good. Five nothing Zebras. Nice hands and nice defense up top by Tanner Reiner. And it starts with a defense by Owen Prater on John Malco. Yeah. He is blanketing him. He, and he is, yeah. he is really competing on the defensive end, fighting through screens. They're trying to get him open. He, he can't get open. You know what I mean? Prater up in the grill. And that's going to be an over the back call as it comes off the hip of Will Malco. And another turnover on the Warriors. And Coach Springer wants a timeout. It's going to be a 30 second timeout with 5.51 to go here in the opening quarter. Zebras lead to 5 0 on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. Giant FM and RTC TV 4. 5 0 with 5.51 to go here. Coach Springer calls a timeout. Basically, Val, I'm going to guess it just to. Uh, Settle things down a little bit and get back on the same page. Yeah, uh, four turnovers in the first two minutes and nine seconds. That is not the way they've done things here. Carson Pollock will inbound after the timeout. He'll get it into Bowers in the backcourt. Bowers against Hines. He'll bring it across the timeline. Bowers comes to the near side now. Now he'll reverse it back to Reinert. Top the key. One dribble into the free throw line. No good. Rebound comes away to Bennell. Chase Bennell will bring it across the timeline. Now he'll give it off to Malco. John Malco gives it to Will. Now in the corner to Jimenez. Jimenez against Pre or excuse me, against Reinerts. Now back up top to Hines. Now to John Malco. Malco against. Yep, there's a travel. To Prater. Oh, and Prater is just in his grill, causing John to have issues. And Coach Springer going to bring him out and have a chat with him. Botoff. Oh, excuse me, Potoff into the ball game number five and for Winnemac. I like Potoff a lot. He is a very good ball handler. They don't lose anything in the ball handling department with him out there, and he, he'll help settle things down. They flash a trap, and now Winnemac pulls back, still in that man. Here's Prater with the basketball to Bogger. Bogger, right side. Bogger has the basketball down in the paint. Bogger then has it stolen by Wolf. Malco into the hands of Bogger, though. Now he'll leave it for Prater. Prater, spin move, goes up, and good. 
That was a tough shot. Traders got five of the seven. It's seven nothing Zebras. Because he had to turn around on the wrong shoulder. Here is Potoff from the corner. No good. Rebound. Will Malco up off the glass. Good. Will Malco breaks the streak for Winnemack and finally gets them on the board. Zebras lead by five, seven to two, 430 to go here in the first quarter. Bogger, free throw line jumper off the mark. No good. Rebound fought for and we're going to get Carson Pollock for the first foul of the contest. Pollock going to be whistled for his first foul. And that's number one on the team for the quarter. I'm a little surprised that Drew Bowers is coach guarding Bentel, but it's yeah. Bentel hasn't had a look either. So. No, he hasn't. Here's Potoff with the basketball. Now to the top of the key goes to Bentel. Bentel holds. Bentel moves to the right to the elbow, kicks it back out. Now down in the corner to Will, Will Malco. Dribbles into the lane, leaves it down low for Potoff. Kicks it out to Jimenez. Jimenez, left wing. Jimenez holds against Prater this time. Now they give it off to Will Malco. Malco baseline, kicks it back out. Winnemack moving the ball nicely. Now down in the paint, they kick it out. Biddle fakes. Now he gets back out to Hines, top of the key. Great defense on the Zebras right now. Biddle with the basketball, top of the key. Now it goes off to Potoff. Back up top of the key, Bentel. Bentel around the screen, can't get it to Jimenez. Good defense by the Zebras. Now they go cross court to Potoff. Here's a three on the way for Hines, off the mark. And the Zebras will rebound it. Bowers quickly ahead to Pollock. Pollock at the block, kicks it back out. And it's going to be last touch by Rochester. Great hustle by Hines. Hines was there to tip it off of Bowers. And Jimenez will sit down and coming in will be number 20, Ethan Burgess. And for the Zebras, Bazo will check in for Pollock. 3.28 remaining here in the opening quarter. 7-2, Rochester leads on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. That last defensive possession by Rochester was just outstanding. I mean, Winnemag moved the ball. They set screens. They did everything. Winnemag with the basketball. Still throw up a brick. Hines into the paint. Hines now gives it off to Burgess. Burgess has it. Now he gives it back over to Bennell. Swing it right side now to Malco. Now back up top. That goes to Burgess. Bad pass. He has to go get it now into the volleyball line. Here is Winnemac still. Zebras on that man defense. What a great defense so far it's been. Here's Bennell backs down. Pray, or Bowers goes over the top. No good. Prayer with a rebound. Quickly out to Bazo. Bazo will bring it down to Bazo. Will fire up a two on the way. Gets the bounce. Bazo with his first two. Two points for Bazo. Oh, I like it. I mean, I've always thought of Bazo as kind of more of a, a spot up shooter. Yeah. That was off the bounce. Nice job by Bob. Robert Bazo into the soaring column. Now down the other end is Winnemac and stepping on the out of bounds line will be Will Malco. Well, you can see Will Malco's put on yeah. put on good weight since last season. You can tell he's been in the weight room and you can tell he's grown. They don't list heights on the John, roster. It looks like a good 6'1", 6'2". John Malco in, Will will sit down for a breather. 2.22 to go here in the opening quarter. Nine to two, Zebras lead. See, now Coach Springer has pot off on Reinhardt's. Let's see if they try to get Reinhardt's the ball here, maybe in the post. Bowers has it on the switch. They double team. Here's Barger for three. Top of the key. Good. Pick and pop. Rice Barger makes it a 10 point zero lead, 12 to 2. Here's Winamac Hines with the basketball. Now it goes to Burgess. Burgess, right wing against Reinhardt's, steals it. Reinerts has the basketball, looking for help, going to find somebody, and now he finds Bazo. Then it's stolen, but a foul going to be called, and that's going to be the first on Winnemac of the quarter, and that's going to go on Braden Hines. Hines picks up number one, team number one. Burgess a little casual with the ball, and Reinerts took it from him. Turnover number seven for Winnemac. Ten-point zero lead with a minute 50 to go here in the first quarter. Bowers with it against Hines. Bowers. Goes to the left side, pull up jumper on the way, too hard, rebound, John Malco. He gives it off to Hines. Hines quickly down the floor. Hines, right wing, deep three for him, off the mark, no good. Rebound fought for, and it picked up by Potoff. He goes up, no good, gets his own rebound. Here is a shot on the way by Hines, and he's gonna be fouled. And Owen Prater gonna pick up his first foul. 
Prater picks up foul number one, team number two of the quarter. And that will send Braden Hines to the line to shoot the first free throws of the night. He'll have two. Winnemac trails by 10, 12 to two. Brendan Hines had 15 in that great win they had over Twin Lakes in their season opener. First shot in and out, no good. Carson Pollock will come back in. Owen Prater will sit down. Those Bogger, Bazo, Reinerts, Pollock, and Bowers on the floor right now for Rochester. Second one by Hines is good this time. 12-3. Quickly down the floor of the Zebras. Here's Bowers with it at the volleyball line. Around the screen from Reinerts. The give and go now to Bogger. Back to Reinerts. Swing it left side. Now in the corner. Here's Pollock. Three ball on the way. Off the mark. No good. Rebound fought for. Bogger comes away with it. Reinerts for three. Too hard off the back of the iron. Potoff has the basketball on the rebound. He gets it quickly ahead to the Warriors. And that's Burgess. Now they bring it to John Malco. Malco, top of the key. Now to Burgess. Right side to Potoff. Looks down in the corner. Can't get it to him. Malco has it back up top. Now to Bennell. Bennell to a cutting Potoff. Stolen by Bogger. Good read by Bogger. Here's Bazo with the basketball. Now to Pollock. Drives the baseline. Kicks it down into the corner. Here's Bowers. Three on the way. Good. Great look by Carson Pollock. Saw him as he drove the baseline. He got him a baseline pass. It's 15 to three. And that was not a rhythm shot. No. He kind of fumbled it a little bit, but nice shot by Wade, by Drew Bowers. What am I calling it? Under 30, Wade. Under 30 seconds to go. Hot off with the basketball. Hot off. Now off to Hines. Hines looking for John Malco. They can't get it to him. Now back to Pot off top. The key, they spring it to Burgess. Burgess, right wing. Now they go down low to Hines. Throws up a jumper off the backboard. Good. Hines has two more, and it's 15 to five. Rochester with five. Burgess with, or er, Bogger with four, and throws it up, no good, and that will do it for the quarter. At the end of one on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard, Rochester with a 10-point lead, 15 to five. Back with more from Rochester High School, Giant FM Sports and RTC TV4. Winnemac is going to have to try and get turned around. I, th I thought it started with Owen Prater's defense yeah. and John Malco, though. And Owen's back in the game. I think Coach uh, Malco sat him down after a missed box out. The, I mean, Winnemac's rebounded fine. That has yeah. not been nope. the issue, but it has been just executing their offense. Here's Prater with the basketball. Kicks it out to Pollock. Dribbles in. Kicks it to Reinhardt. Now to right side. Here's Bowers. Now into Prater. Kicks it back out. Bogger three right wing. In and out. No good. And the rebound comes away to Bennell. Bennell gives it up to Hines. Now quickly down to Potoff. Now to Malco. John Malco with the basketball. Top of the key. Comes to Burgess. Now swings it into the corner. That's Hines. Now Potoff. Top of the key. Malco. Malco will pull the trigger. Three on the way. No good. Reiner skies for the rebound. John Malco loves that top of the key three-pointer. Yeah. Here's Bowers with the basketball. Bowers is going to be fouled, and that's going to be the second on Hines. Team at number one of the quarter. And, and Coach Springer going to the bench. Interesting because Winnemac came on the zone to start the second quarter. Rochester got a pretty decent look from Bogger. He missed, but that was a pretty good look. Will Malco back on the floor for uh, Winnemac and sitting down was Hines with two fouls. Fifth, 30 seconds gone by here, or 45 seconds gone by in the quarter. Still 15 to 5. There's Bowers with it. Bowers. Goes, tries to go down to uh, Prater. Can't get him to pass. A little bit more of an angle needed on that one. A couple more dribbles down to the corner. Yeah, that was just, yeah, exactly. Uh, turnover number three for Rochester. One minute gone by. Still 15 to five in the Jenny's Insurance scoreboard. Here's John Malco with it in the corner. Now to Potoff. Potoff looking for a cutting Bentle. Can't get it to him. Potoff picks up his dribble against Pollock. Now to top to John Malco. Bring it near side to Bentle. Bennell gives it back to John Malco on the cut. Can't get it. Here's Will. Will Malco, 15-footer on the way. No good. John Malco with the rebound. John has it. Dribbles back out against Prater again, and he can't really do anything with it. They get a screen. Now Malco into the paint. John throws up a shot. No good. And the rebound comes to Bogger. Here's Pollock. He'll bring it down the timeline. Now he'll give it off to Bogger. Back to Pollock. Pollock, back to Bogger. Now they go to the left side. Now to Bowers. Bogger, top of the key. Now to right side to Malco. Or excuse me, to, to Reinerts. Winnemac back in that man. Prater drives the paint, jump stop, up and got the roll. I wasn't sure if it was going to roll for Prater, but it did. And he's got seven. 
17 to five. That is a new addition to his repertoire. Here's John Malko, top of the key, right side, now to Potoff. Now down in the corner to Will Malko. Will against Bogger. Will, fadeaway jumper off the mark. Shot. Prater with, or excuse me, Reinhardt's with the rebound. Prater set a good screen there, got him open. And here's now Bowers, elbow jumper. Kicked it out, and now there's going to be a bump against Burgess. And Ethan Burgess is going to pick up his first team second of the quarter. Warrior Randy and Val, glad you could join us here tonight. High school boys basketball as Jimenez will come back in and Will Malco will sit down. Bazo will come in and Tanner Reinhardt will get a breather. Five and a half to go, 17-5. Rochester on top. And Rochester doing a lot of switching on all screens on defense because when you got five guys who are basically the same height, you can do that. Pollock, the inbound pass, air balls the shot. Jimenez with the rebound, now stolen by Pollock. Pollock throws it up in the air into the hands of Bazo. Bazo to Bowers, and he's going to be hammered, and he'll go to the line to shoot two. And that foul, I believe, is going to be on Jimenez. Jimenez picks up his first. Team third of the quarter. And now Drew Bowers to the line for the first time tonight for Rochester, looking for the first free throws for the Zebras. Coach Springer calls Jimenez Jimmy. Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Brings back Seinfeld memories. Bowers with his first of two free throws. Off the back of the iron, no good. <laughs> Jimmy fouled there. Uh -huh. <laughs> 5.24 to go in the second quarter. Jimenez is one of their offensive linemen, and you can probably you can probably could have guessed that. You could guess that, at. yeah. Free throws good by Bowers, the second one. He's got four points, and it's an 18 to five lead. Here's John Malco. John has it to Potoff. Potoff down in the corner now to Burgess. Burgess holds. Burgess against Bogger. Got to get rid of it. Finally does to Wilmot, or excuse me, that is to uh, Ventil, Ventil has it, knocked loose by Bowers. Ventil now has a dribble, gives it off to Potov. Now the near side down to Burgess. Looking for that cut, they get it to Jimenez, and now they're going to get a reach-in foul against Bur or, uh, Bazo. Robert going to pick up his first. Coming back in will be uh, Brayton Hines. Hines will come in, Burgess will sit down for the Zebras. Tanner Reinhardt will come in. And sitting down will be... Bazo, under five to go before halftime. Good minutes defensively from Bazo. Plus a, plus a nice bucket, too. They look to get it in. They do to John Malco. Corner three on the way. Off the mark, no good. Rebound to Tanner. Reinhardt's quickly ahead to Pollock. Pollock off to Bogger. Down in the corner, now to Prater. Prater backs his way in, throws it. Now they reverse it over to Bowers in the other corner. Bowers, top of the key. Here's Pollock trying to get it to Tanner. Tanner has a mismatch against Potoff. They can't get it to him. Here's Prater, three on the corner. Good. Oh, and Prater's got three more. It's a 21 to five zebra lead. That Owen Prater jump shot, it has really developed since last year. And now we're gonna get a moving screen and that's gonna come against Jimenez. That's gonna be his second. And that'll put it to team fourth. And that'll put Rochester second. shooting free throws the remainder of the four minutes and 16 seconds to go Will in the quarter. The Coming back in will be Will Malco. And Jimenez will sit down. Bowers will bring it across the timeline. Bowers throws it to Bogger, but Bogger wasn't paying attention. Reinert saves it. Off of Reinert, picked up by Bowers. Bowers with a basketball. Drew's looking for somebody open. Finds Bogger, right wing. Top of the key, Reinerts. Reinerts, elbow jumper, and off the mark. No good. Will Malco with a rebound. Good defense by Winnemack there. Bumped Quick. the cutter, kind of foiled the play. Here is Hines. Hines dribbles in, kicks it out to John Malco. Malco in the paint, spin move. Goes up after the head fake. No good. Rebound. Zebra basketballs. It's knocked out of bounds. Jack right. Reffitt will come in. Jack Reffitt, who led the Zebras in the JV game with 19, now will come in, and Pollock will sit down. Boy, John Malco did pull out everything but the kitchen sink to get himself <laughs> open there, and he still missed just not his night so far. But Bowers with it, top of the key. 
Now to Reinerts. Back to Bowers. Almost stolen. Bowers into the free throw line. Jumper on the way. No good. Ball's tipped around. Potoff comes up with it. Potoff quickly ahead. Here is Hines. Hines in the move. And a charge taken by the Zebras. Great defense by Bogger. And was there... There was another whistle. And we also have a T, a technical on Hines. So Hines just picks up foul three and four. And so that will put Zebras shooting four free throws. Tanner Reinertz, I believe, will shoot the technical. But first, we get a 30-second timeout by Coach Springer. So the Zebras should be shooting four free throws. And uh, wasn't that Bogger that took the charge, I believe, right? Yeah. So Bogger should. Well, I don't think. Well, that's an offensive foul, right. So that's an offensive foul. So Zebras will just shoot two from the technical, and that will be Tanner Reinertz. And the technical coming in on Braden Hines as he was frustrated as he got up after the call of a charge. And this is a Winnemag team that came in averaging 59 and a half points a game and they scored five. And we've got 316 to go in the quarter, or 316 to go in the half. Reinerts to the line to shoot. Reinerts free throw on the way. Misses the first one. And he'll have one more. There's not much of a student body for the Winnemac Warriors, but they are loud. And at the end down here where Tanner Reinerts is shooting a free throw. And coming in will be Aiden Schooler, a junior, and he'll replace Brendan Hines. Tanner's got one more. Reinerts second free throw after the technical on the way. Missed them both. So it's 21 to five, Zebras will get the basketball at midcourt. So the Zebras will inbound it and Bogger will do so. 3.16 to go here in the opening half. Here's Bowers with it. Bowers has the basketball. Down to Prater, jumper at the elbow, no good. And here comes uh, Vintel with the rebound. Vintel quickly ahead to John Malco. Malco has it, now to Will. Now they swing it to Schooler. Now they're back over to Potoff. Back up top, they swing it again over to Bentle. Bentle holds, dribbles in, down Bowers. Now kicks it back out. Here's Potoff, down in the corner again is Winnemac. Bentle into the paint, throws up a jumper, good. Chase Bentle gets his first two of the evening, and it's 21 to seven. Bogger fakes the three, kicks it back up top. Now it goes to Reffitt, right side. Three on the way for him, in and out, no good. And now Tanner Reinhardt's going to pick up a cheap foul as he goes over to the back of the Winnemac Warriors. And John or Will Malco with a great block out. Coach Malco's like, hey, just let him have it next time. Winnemac's well, got to be feeling pretty good here. I mean, <laughs> Rochester misses the two technical free throws. They don't get any in the ensuing possession, and then... Bentle gets off the schneid, so. Bentle with the basketball, now to Malco. Back to Bentle, top to key. Bentle has the basketball to Potoff. Potoff holds against Reinerts. Now he gives it off to Will. Now back in the corner to John. John Malco, back up top to Schooler. Now to Potoff, down in the corner is Bentle to a cutting John Malco. Into the paint, kicks it back up. Will drives the lane, or excuse me, that's Schooler driving the lane. And he gets his first points of the evening. And it's 21 to nine. Here is the inbounds pass to Prater. Kicks it out to Reiner, it's no good. Bogger with a rebound. Bogger has it, down in the corner. Here's Reffitt for three, good. Jack Reffitt with a big three there. Gets Zebras off that 21 and quickly. Here's Malco the other end for three. Off the mark, no good. Ball's tipped into the hands of Potoff. Now they go down low to Will Malco, right into the hands of Prater. Prater has it, now to Bogger. Now off to Bowers, Bowers in the corner, he'll bring it back up and reset the Zebra offense. To Prater, back to Bowers. 
Out of Reffitt in left wing. Reffitt looks over the top to Bogger. Bogger drives the right paint, throws up a jumper at the block, no good. Under a minute to go. Pot off with a rebound. Warriors will look to push. Good Pot. defense by John Malco. Here's Will Malco. Now down in the corner to Schuler. Schuler gives it up now to Malco. Here is a deep three for Bentel. High bounce and it hits the wire. It'll be out of bounds to Rochester. That's not Bentel's game. No. He's more of a slasher. Uh, he can hit the three, but that's not him at his best. Mazzo will come in, and Bogger will get a breather with 44.3 seconds to go here before halftime. Zebras lead 24-9. to I saw Luke Smith made sure he gave Bogger a pat on the back. Yeah. He's really worked hard tonight. Uh, will the Zebras hold for the last shot? Clock is not moving. Clock hasn't started to move yet. And we've got issues. Something's happened. Looks like they lost power at the... Scoring table, because there goes the clock now. As it uh, looks like it got kicked and came undone. So well, it has been a lights out performance by the Zebras tonight. <laughs> and Literally. Uh -huh. And now they'll have to reset. The officials will talk about how much time comes off of it. Off the clock, the officials are getting together. I would say at least 10 to 12 seconds, I'm going to guess. As they'll reset now and see what they do. They go to the scoring table, and it's setting at 41.4, and they're going to take it down to 33.6. So they'll reset it with 33.6 seconds remaining in the half. Now the question becomes, does Coach Malco wait for the last shot? I'm going to guess they try to, unless you get a wide-open layup. Yeah, I would think. It is a possession arrow is in favor of the Warriors, so the Warriors... We'll get it to start the quarter if uh, nothing happens between now and then. Here's the Zebras down in the corner to Prater, back up top to Bowers. Bowers left wing, top to key, now to Reinhardt's with 23 seconds. Bowers left wing. Bowers fakes the pass into the paint, now kicks it back out. Bowers has it into Bazo. Bazo kicks it to Reffitt, and then he swing it back up top. Bowers has it now with 10, into the corner. Here now, Zebras will go with eight. Bowers to Reffitt with six. Now they kick it to Prater. Prater travels, had the head fake, but unfortunately took one step before he put the ball on the ground. John Malco was coming at him. Rochester with two fouls to give. 2.9 seconds to go. And Will Malco gets it in. Here is Chase Bindle, half quarter at the buzzer. No good off the front of the iron. At halftime, Zebras lead on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. 24-9. to 9. When we come back, it'll be the halftime show brought to you by Rochester Iron and Metal. That's all coming your way here from Rochester High School. Giant FM and RTC TV4. Hines does start the quarter with four fouls. Also, Bentel, uh, both Malcos and Jimenez, the original five on the floor for Winnemac. Here is John Malco with the basketball. Now top to Bentel. Bentel has it against Bowers, and now we're going to get a holding foul. And I believe it's going to be against Prater as they try to get uh, John Malco open. Prater picks up his second, team first of the quarter. We'll see, too, how uh, tight more they call this in the second half to these officials. Malco, John Malco to the hole. He gets his first points of the afternoon, or the evening, excuse me, with a field goal at the bucket, and it's 24 to 11. Original five starters on the floor for Rochester. They kick it out to Reinerts. Three ball left wing. Good for Tanner. Tanner with a big three there. Takes it to 27 to 11. Drive and kick, Prater. Here is Hines with it. Now he goes off to Will Malco. Will with the basketball. Left side now over to Bentel. Bentel has it. Now to the top to Jimenez. Down in the corner to Will. Will takes a three from the corner. Off the mark. No good. John Malco. Gets the rebound, but he pushes off to go get it. And John Malco going to pick up his first foul. And the team first of the quarter. So the Zebras will inbound. 7.04 to go here in the third. 27 to 11. Zebras still lead on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. Here is Bowers with the basketball. He'll pull down. Nobody's guarding. Pull up for a three. No good. Kind of probably a quick shot that Coach Malco would rather have back. Quickly down the floor are the Warriors. Now here's John Malco with it, left wing against Prater. They give it to Will. Will against Bogger, goes to the hole, up and no good. Rebound, Reinerts 
Quickly ahead to Owen Prater, and it goes off, should go off of John Malco. It does. And time Prater looked up to catch that, he almost ran over uh, John Malco, and luckily the ball goes out on Malco. Yeah, and you, you've got to attack Hines defensively. He's yeah. out there with four fouls. Over the top is stolen by Winnemack. Here's Hines in the basket. He leaves it for John Malco. Three on the way, no good. And Reiners with a rebound. Quickly ahead, here's another stolen pass. This one by Will Malco to the hole against Barger up and good. Will Malco has four now. It's 27-13. Down in the middle, they go to Prater. Over the head pass to Luke Malco. Luke Malco with two. Malco with his first points of the night, 29-13. Nice look by Prater. From the high post, carving up the Winnemag zone. Yeah. Here is Jimenez with it. Zebra, zebras in the... Zebras are in the man, and they're going to say that Bentel went out of bounds and was the first person to touch it after the pass. Can't do that. Turnover, Winnemac. Turnover number 12 for Winnemac, six for Rochester. So here he is, Zebras with the basketball. Bowers will bring it across, guarded by Hines. Pass is tipped around, picked up by Prater. Prater leaves it for Malco again, up and good. Luke Malco with back-to-back -back baskets and back-to-back -back assist for Owen Prater. Here's Bentle down at the other end. Bentle in front of his own bench. Bentle backing Bowers down. Turn around jumper too hard. Bowers pulls down the rebound. Quickly ahead to Reinerts. Reinerts, right wing. Reinerts, and then going to have it stolen after a tip from behind into the hands of Jimenez, and Reinerts just grabs it, trying to get the ball back, and he'll commit his second foul, team second. Coach Malco wants a timeout. It's a 30-second timeout. We'll take it as well. 5.18 to go here on the Giant FM scoreboard. Jenny's Insurance, Zebras lead, 31-13, Giant FM, RTC, TV4. After the timeout, it'll be Winnemac basketball. Hines will bring it up. Wabash boys lead Southwood 16 to nine at the end of one quarter. Zebras in the man defense. Here is Will Malco with the basketball. Gives it off to brother John. John dribbled down over Prater and the hoop and the harm. As John Malco has four now and Owen Prater just picked up his third. Team third. Oh, they're gonna give that to Reinerts. Excuse me. They're gonna give it to Reinerts, my apologies. His third. And that'll be the team third. Nice call by Coach Springer. Yeah. Put Malco, John Malco on the top of the key and made it harder for the help to come. Malco misses the free throw. The rebound comes away to the Zebras. Here is Bowers with it, left wing. Bowers trying to go over the top. He does to Bogger now on the right wing. Back to Bowers. Bowers dribbles into the block. Layup up, no good, but a foul coming beforehand. And it's going to be out of bounds, and that'll be the team's second. And then whistle going to come against Will Malco, his first. Carson Polly comes in, and Tanner Reinhardt will sit down with three fouls here with 4.49 to go in the third. Zebra like still leading 31-15. Ever since the technical call, the officials have been a little whistle happy here. They want to get this game under control. Here's Pollock with the basketball. Now to Bogger. Now here's Malco with it. Now to Bogger. Now to swing it to Drew Bowers. Drew with the basketball, he'll back it back out. Go to Pollock, back to Bowers. Pollock in the left corner. Pollock dribbles it up. Trying to uh, run that middle there. They get it to Prater at the free throw line. He kicks it back out, they swing it to Pollock. Nothing happening, they'll reset the offense. Pollock picks up his dribble, has to give it to Bowers. 4.20 to go here. Over the top, Pollock, three left wing, no good. Prater goes and gets a rebound. Somebody forgot to block him out. Head fake up off the glass, good. And then somebody forgot to stop his dribble after he got the rebound. 12 for Prater. 33-15, Zebras lead. Here's John Malco with it. He gives it off to Hines. Hines, who's played the whole quarter so far with four fouls. And that one's going to be knocked out of bounds by Bogger as they try to get it into Will Malco. And Bryce bogger has got good length to him. He's got yeah. those long arms, and he can get in the passing lane. They get it in the backcourt to Hines. Hines will bring it across Luke, against Luke Malco. Under four to go in the third. Hines picks it up. Now to Bentle. Bentle around Bowers. Throws up a running jumper. No good. Bowers going to pick up his first. 
The one thing you're seeing Winnemac doing uh, more of this quarter that you didn't see in the first half is attacking the basket. Yeah, I mean, this, that's what they do. Yeah. I mean, that's what, you know, they, they were down by 10 at the half against Twin Lakes, won that game. They were down a lot of the game against North Newton, came back and won that game. That's a pretty good North Newton team. Uh, they're not scared. 33-16. And coming in will be Bazo. Out will be Luke Malco. I'm sure they're a little frustrated, but I don't think they're they're scared of being in this situation. Yeah. So, second one on the way for Chase Bentle. That one's too hard, no good. Bazo rips the rebound. Ahead to Bentle. Now to Drew Bowers. Look to run the offense. Bowers has it left side. Bowers will trigger the three. In and out, no good. Jimenez with the rebound. Here come the Warriors. Hines quickly ahead to Will Malco. Will in the corner. Will to the hole. Up off the glass. No good, but Bogger going to pick up his foul. And that's going to be his first team's fourth. And that will send John Malco, or Will Malco, excuse me, back to the line for the first time tonight. Defensively, Winamax pushing up their 2-3. Uh -huh. uh, it's almost, I don't want to call it like a half-court trap, but right. it, they're pushing it up a little bit. Free throw, uh, no good. And, and when you're down by 17 points in the third quarter, you got to do something to maybe kind of force the issue a little bit. Hines sits down and Potoff comes in with 3.24 to go in the third. 33-16, second free throw on the way for Malco's good. Will's got one of two on that trip. It's 33-17. Coach Malco wants a timeout. 3.22 to go on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. Rochester 33, Winnipeg 17. Back with us right after this, Giant FM and RTC TV4. Pollock will look to inbound into the backcourt, and it'll be picked up by Bowers. Bowers has it. Bowers will bring it across. He's going to be guarded by Bentel. Still that 2-3, but they do extend the top out a little bit, putting a little more pressure. Bowers has it over the top to Bogger. Back to Bowers. Trying to look at Prater in the middle. And the way the, 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 so the points are up so high that they can't get it to, to Prater because he almost like looks like he's triple team. That corner shot should be open here. Here's Pollock with it. If left you're side. Patient. Pollock gives it up and it goes to Prater. And Prater pulls his hand back and like he didn't want it. And it goes out of bounds, turnover Rochester. I'm not sure what happened there. Prater kind of popped out of the yeah. high post as if to help out, and then yeah. Didn't everybody, get else, everybody else seemed kind of confused what, was, what else was going on. 33-17, Winnemag with the basketball. Here's Will Malco with it. Now they give it off to John on the handoff. John dribbles in. Now he'll bring it back out. A will go to Bentel. Bentel, free throw line extended. Now to John Malco. Here's Will Malco with the basketball off the bottom. Now the back up top. They go to down low to John. John has the basketball at the blocks, kicks it back out. Will's on the right side. He'll dribble in. Leave it for Jimenez. Jimenez to Potoff. Potoff guarded by Bazo. Now they go to Jimenez in the right corner. Good defense by Bowers to deny the back cut. Here's John Malco with the basketball. Malco against Prater. Goes to the hole, throws up a shot. They're going to call blocking against Prater. Now that's three on Prater. And the... Uh, fourth on the Zebras, no fifth. If you wanted to sell tickets just to watch a one-on-one -on -one game between John Malco and Owen Prater, I'd pay to see it. <laughs> I mean, they are they are competing out there. They are battling. Zebras are in five, so a double bonus, but he was shooting anyway, so John Malco 0 for 1 and makes that one, so 1 for 2 now. Coming in will be Kaiser. Jonas Kaiser will enter for Owen Prater, who sits down with 12 points and three fouls with a, just under two minutes to go in the quarter. Free throw on the way for John Malko is good again. He's got six all in this quarter, and it's 33-19. Bowers with the basketball down on the other end. Bowers gives it off out to Bogger. Bogger to Pollock. Bazo travels in the corner. Give the head fake, shifted the feet, and it's another turnover on Rochester. In the first half, turnovers were 11 to 4 Winnemac. This quarter, 5 to 1 Rochester. But Winnemac has only been able to shave one point off that halftime deficit. 
36-26, Kokomo leads Peru at halftime. Flory with just one dunk in the first half. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Potov with the basketball. Now to John Malko. Malko, left side. Over now to Burgess. Now they go down low to Bentle. Bentle, yep, there's going to be the charging foul. Chase Bentle going to pick up his first. Team number three. Chase Bentle plays football. He's one of their Winamax leading wide receivers, and he ran into Rochester's one of their better cornerbacks, Carson Pollock, slash quarterback. Kaiser with the basketball. Kaiser has it for Rochester. Kaiser, out of bounds. They've missed Bogger way open in the corner. Bowers with it. Bowers jump stop, kick it out to Bazo. Bazo, elbow jumper, off the mark, no good. Under a minute to go. Pot off with the rebound. Here's Winamax doing a nice job defensively containing Bowers. John Malco with the basketball. Malco to Will. Back to John. John holds the top of the key with 45 seconds. John will back it out. And now he'll go to Burgess. Burgess has it. Looking for the cut to Bentle. Over the top. Too hard. And Bazo picks up the loose ball. Quickly ahead to Bowers. Bowers with 35. Now off to Carson Pollock. Back to Bowers. Left wing. Pollock in the corner. Cutting Jonas that missed him. Or Bogger missed him. And Coach Malco says one shot. 23 seconds to go in the quarter. Bowers has it, top of the key. They go back to Bogger, down low to Pollock. Pollock, little baby hook. Air balls it, goes out of bounds. And so now with 12.8 seconds, Winnemac will get the basketball back with a chance to cut into this lead, headed into the fourth. Rochester's played man defense all yep. night. Bentel with the basketball. Bentel backing down Bowers, throws up a jumper, no good. The ball loose, picked up by Bowers. Bowers, three-quarter court shot at the buzzer. No. At the end of three quarters, it's Rochester, 33, Winnemag, 19 on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. Back with the fourth and final quarter after this. You're listening to High School Basketball, Giant FM and RTC TV4. Headed into the fourth quarter, Zebras will have the basketball to start. It's Bowers, Prater, Reinerts. Pollock and Bogger on the floor for Rochester. At the end of the third quarter, Mac McConaughey leads North Miami 71-26. Several dunks, Coach Davis says in that game. Here's Tanner Reinerts with a three ball, no good. Rebound comes away to the Warriors. Warriors quickly down. Here's Hines with the basketball. Three, a deep three for Braden Hines. First three of the night for him and the Warriors. 33-22, down to 11-point zebra lead. Prater, down in the paint. Prater travels. Oh, they're going to bail him out with a foul. Coach Springer doesn't like it, but the zebras just got lucky there. John Malco picks up his second, team first of the quarter. Zebras will inbound. Bowers to throw it in. Gets it in to Bogger. Bogger, back to Pollock. To Bogger. Bogger. Left wing, now to Reinerts. Reinerts dribbles the baseline, leads to a cutting. Bowers up and good. Nice. Nice cut by Drew Bowers and a nice look by Tanner Reinerts. And it's 35-22. And you know, Drew has kind of struggled to get his game going yeah. offensively, so to cut away from the ball, that's a good way to get going. John Malco, head fakes, goes to the rack, up off the glass, got the bounce, and Malco. The two more, 35-24. Quickly down, here's the Zebras. Pollock with it to Bowers. Bowers with the basketball. Now to Bogger. Back to Bowers, left wing. Back to Bogger. Bogger in the corner. Cross-court pass over the top. Now to Pollock. Pollock has it. In that 2-3 zone, Prater, they go down low to Bogger. Bogger goes up strong. He's going to be fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Another nice pass by Prater. Prater not very tall out there, but he can see the floor well. And great passes here this, this evening. So that foul coming on Will Malco, his second, team second. And Bryce Bogger at the line. He's got three points. And the first free throw is missed. 35-24 is our score here with 6.29 to go in the fourth. Randy and Val, glad you could join us here tonight at Giant FM on RTC TV4. 
Second free throw for Bogger on the way. Does not get the bounce. And John Malko with a big rebound. Quickly ahead is Potoff. Potoff with the basketball. Down to the paint. Kicks it back out to Malko. John has it. Now down to the corner. That is Bentle. Bentle takes it to the rack. Misses. Rebound Zebras. Zebras got a break there. That was the shot Winnemac wants with Bentle. Pollock down low. Kicks it back out to Bowers. Bowers to Prater. Ball's knocked loose on the floor. And we're going to have a jump ball. It'll be Winnemac basketball. Turnover to Zebras. Turnover number 10 for Rochester, 14 for Winnemac in this game. 35-24, 6.03 remaining. Here's Hines with the basketball. Hines goes left side now to Malco. John Malco with the basketball, looking for Will. Gets him at the cut in the block. And we're going to have a foul against Prater. He just picked up his fourth. Team's first of the half. And that'll be out of hands now to Winnemac. First of the quarter, that is. Or first of the quarter, my fault. I knew what I meant. You just didn't read it right. <laughs> Here's Hines, who's been playing his whole half with four fouls. Crater's still out there, Rochester in the zone. Yeah. Went back to the zone, forcing the Winnemac Warriors to move the ball a little bit more. Here's Bentle with it, top of Hines. Now to Malco to a cutting Mal brother Will. Knock loose, here's the Zebras, down low to Bowers. Bowers up and we are gonna have a jump ball. Bowers did a great job, got a couple of Winnemac defenders up off his feet, but out of nowhere comes Will Malco and tied it up. Great play by Will Malco. Yeah. Great play by Tanner Reinert to the other end to get a steal. Bowers looking to inbound. Here's Tanner Reinert with it. Reinert, free throw line, throws up a little floater, no good. Goes for his own rebound, knocked loose, picked up by Winnemac. Quickly ahead the Warriors, now to Hines. Hines goes down low to, to Will Malco and it's touched out of bounds by Tanner Reinerts. Great job of getting back on defense for Tanner. It'll be out of bounds to Winnemac underneath their own basket, baseline left, triggering in. They try to get it into Potoff, into the corner. Now up top to John Malco. John Malco with it, gives it off to Hines. 5-10 to go in this fourth quarter. Hines, top of the key, he'll pull the three on the way, no good, it touches the wire, touches the backboard, and it's out of bounds to Rochester. 5-0-3 to go. That was about a 23-footer by Hines. He was well behind the line. He's gonna have to hit yeah. probably another three for if Winnemac wants to complete this comeback. Here is Bowers with the basketball. Leaves it for Prater at the free throw line. Prater dribbles in, goes up off the glass too hard. John Malco with a rebound. Good defense by Will Malco. Quickly Again. ahead to Will. Ball's loose. Will didn't know it was coming. Quickly ahead now to Bowers. Bowers has to chase it down in the corner and they'll reset. Ryerts dribbles in, throws it out to the Bowers. Bowers jump stop into the paint. Goes up and good to foul. <laughs> Foul is coming against Will Malco. And that will put Bowers back to the line to shoot one to complete the three-point play. That was just a real athletic play by Drew Bowers. Drew's got eight points on the evening. Nah, can't get the free throw. 37-24, four and a half to go in the fourth. Here's Hines with the basketball, top the key. Now they go left side, down to Bennell. Back up top to Hines, swings it right side, down to John Malco. Will Malco kind of running that uh, middle. He gets the basketball, goes into pot off, and he's going to be fouled as a reach-in foul is going to be called against Bogger. It's going to be his second, team second of the quarter. Not a bad foul. No, it was all right. Only the second. So now they'll inbound. Hines looking to get it in. Finally gets it in to pot off in the corner. Back up top now to John Malco. Swing it to Hines, right wing. Zebra's in the 2-3 zone. Now to go to Bennell. Bennell has it, top of the key to John Malco. This is oh, kind of slow down one. with a foot. Three ball on the way, no good. Pollock saves it from going out of bounds. Here comes the Zebras. Zone is slow down to Winamax dribble penetration. Carson Pollock with the basketball. Out to Prater. Prater drives that baseline, throws up a running jumper, no good. Bowers tries to tip it, can't get so. Picked up by Winnemac. Here comes Hines. Hines, one on three. Now he'll kick it back out to John Malco. He'll fire a three. Off the mark, no good. Tanner Reiner just rips the rebound. 
quickly ahead to Prater. Ball is stolen by Malco, and he can't handle it. It'll stay zebra basketball right in front of the zebra bench. No, 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 Ooh. no. Yes. Yeah. yeah, you got lucky. And not even, not, it wouldn't even, no, 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 no. Yes, yeah, more like no, 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 sigh of relief. Yes, yes, deep breath. 30-33 <laughs> to go. They throw it in the backcourt now to Drew Bowers. Bowers will bring it up. Winnemack now kind of in that trapping 2-3 at the, try, at the top of the middle. Prater, left side, now to Bogger. Bogger has the basketball over the key to Reinerts in the corner. Reinerts against Malco, back up top to Bowers. They trap him, he goes, splits it. Free throw line jumper, in and out, no good. Prater with a rebound, short, no good. Will Malco with a rebound. Quickly ahead, Hines tries to give it to Will, can't get it, stolen by Bowers. Bowers, head fakes. Gets John Malco off his feet. And Drew with a nice, easy layup. Set up by quick hands by Prater. Hines with the basketball at the other end. Picks up his dribble. Got to do something with it. Gets to Bentle. Now to pot off. Now into the corner. Here's Bentle again. Pass is knocked loose, and it'll be off of Reinhardt. It'll stay with Winnemack. 2.42 to go here in this fourth quarter. 39-24. Coach Springer going to his bench. I think Rochester's zone's been better tonight than it was against Culver. Yeah. I mean, they haven't played it as much, but I think it's been... Pot off comes effective. out, and coming in is number 10. I don't have number 10. We'll have to see who that is. And the Zebras call a 60-second timeout, leading 39-24. 2.42 to go here in the fourth. Giant FM and RTC TV4. Jabin, Jabin. Rochester High School, 2.42 to go here in the fourth quarter. Zebras lead it 39-24, and Coach Malco with his third time out of the evening. This time it was a 60. Winnemag still has a foul to give, and that's kind of worth noting because Rochester's one for seven from the foul line in this yeah, game. Not going to be happy as Coach uh, Malco on that. Winnemag will look to get it in. J. Ben Hines is number 10. He has the basketball. He'll fire a three off the mark. No good. Rebound, Carson Pollock. Pollock gives it off to Barger, who will hand it to Bowers. He'll quickly up to Tanner Reinerts. Now to Bowers. They're playing hot potato. Here's Reinerts for three off the wing. No good. Not a good shot. Will Power or Will Malco with a rebound. I mean, it was open, but yeah. you don't John need Malco, that. John Malco down in the corner to Bentel. Now to Will, Will Malco. Throws up a running shot. I think it might have been partially deflected. Picked up by Reinerts. Logger with a basketball. Top of the key to Prater. Or excuse me, that is Pollock. Now Bowers has it. He's double teamed. And it's stolen. Stolen by Hines. Hines to the hole. Hines loses the basketball. Tries to go up for a layup and it kind of got tangled up in the feet of Rochester. And now he will have to come out. Looks like maybe some blood. And so uh, Hines will have to come out. And we'll have some blood clean up on the floor. And coming in will be Potoff. Christine will come in and do some cleanup. I did not think with less than two minutes to go in the game that neither team would be at 40. <laughs> I did not think that at all. No. Um, Let alone uh, 24 for Winnemac, who's been, like you said, averaging 56 points. Yeah, 59. And 59, and a half, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think the Ro Rochester went to the zone at right, just the right time. Yeah. Winnemac was starting to get into a little bit of a rhythm, kind of scoring off the dribble a little bit, and it's a good sign for the Zebras that they can have some success going man or zone. At uh, Kokomo, Peru is down 48 to 30, and Matthew Recker. One of the superstars on that football team, plays basketball as well. He's one point away, Val, from 1,000 for his career early in the season. I'm surprised. Yeah, that's, that's no surprise. I, I, in fact, I would have thought he would have gotten to 1,000 already. <laughs> He's a fantastic basketball player also. Bowers with the basketball. Zebra's trying to run some clock, force Winnemac maybe to foul. And there is one of the fouls coming on Hines. J. Ben Hines with his first. It's going to be the team fourth. So it'll be one more foul to give for Winnemac. And Pollock will get it in. He'll have to uh, get it in to Bowers in the backcourt. 
Bowers against J-Ban Hines. Now over to Prater. Prater then is going to be fouled, and that's going to be on Bentel, his second, team fifth. So that will send Prater to the line to shoot two. Prater will shoot two free throws. Prater on the night had 10 points in the first half. He's just got two so far in this half. You know, Caston had that game the other night against Lewis Cass. They lost an overtime, one, one for nine from yeah. the foul line in that game. Wow. They were able to bounce back tonight and get a win over Pioneer, but some early free throw shooting moves for a number of teams in the area. And there's Owen Prater with a first free throw made. His first one of the night. 40 now. 40-24. Uh, Sectional will be at Lewis Cass this year, in case you're wondering, in case these you have a rematch. Prater, second one good again. Owen oh, Prater, good from the line. Takes a 41-24 lead. Here's Hines, now to John Malco. Malco has it picked by Bowers. Drew Bowers, right hand layup up and no good, but he's gonna be fouled. And he'll go back to the line to shoot two. Warrior foul, number 10, Hines. And second. Bowers on the evening Drew with Bowers. 10 points. Four at halftime and six here in just this quarter. Free throw on the way is good for Drew. Drew two for three or uh, two for four now on the evening. Second one on the way for Bowers. And rims out, no good. Prater tries to battle for the rebound. It's going to be touched by John Malco. Out of bounds to the Zebras. Jimenez will check back in now for Winnemac. And they just, I was going to say, they're going to get him in just in time. Back on the court for Winnemac, 32 8. And John Malco will sit down. 42 24. Drew looking to get it in. Bowers. Gets it in to Bogger. Bogger has the basketball, now to Prater. Prater, top of the key, gives it off to Pollock. Pollock, Oops, and over. yep. Carson Pollock a little too close to the line as he tried to jump, stop, and reverse. It'll be Winnemac basketball. 64 it's seconds left. It's something that Carson Pollock will get better at over time. It kind of, it's funny, he's the quarterback on the football team. Yeah. They blitzed him. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Jabin Hines with the basketball, top of the key, now they go in. Uh, to Will Malco, he throws it into the hands of Pollock. Pollock then is gonna be fouled from behind and he'll go to the line to shoot. Two. Pollock. Carson Pollock scoreless so far in tonight's contest, has an opportunity to get into the scoring column. What's impressed me tonight so much is whenever a Rochester kid is taking a bad shot or committed to turnover, they don't hang their heads, they go no. back and they make a good play defensively. And Pollock did that there. And here's the free throw on the way for Pollock. First one is in and out, no good. 53 seconds remaining. Jonas Kaiser will come in. Tanner Reinertz will sit down. And also coming in will be Grant Clark. And Bogger will sit down and a host of subs for Winnemac as well. Schooler back in. Uh, also coming in will be Burgess back in. 23. Matic Bazinski in as well. And Prater will sit down for Rochester and coming in Dace Reney. And Bauer sits down and Jack Clark comes in. Or Jack Reff, excuse me. Yeah, Braden Mathias in, yeah. So here is a free throw on the way for Carson Pollock. His second one is in and out and back in. Good. Into the scoring column. 43-24, 50 seconds remain. Here's Hines with the basketball. Now to the far side over to Schooler. Back up top to Hines. Hines has it, brings it over to number 12. That's Mathis. He checked in as well. Pollock with a steal. And Pollock will look to hold on to it. And they'll look to run the clock with 30 seconds to go. Ref it with the basketball. Now to Clark. Clark has it. Will dribble back to the middle. He'll go over the top. And it's going to be touched. Picked up by Ref it in the backcourt. Reffitt then is going to be fouled, and that's going to be on Schooler. His first, Jack Reffitt will get to go to the line and shoot.
Jack scored a three in the second quarter. So he'll look to add to his totals here with a couple of free throws. Zebra set the tone in nine with their man-to-man -man defense in the first quarter. Yeah. And that free throw missed by Revit. And I know what Coach Malco is going to say. Our focus, we shoot free throws during practice. But for some reason tonight, Zebras just can't get the ball to go in the hole at the free throw line. Five for 14. Second one on the way by Revit. In and out and back in. He got that one to roll. He's got four points on the evening. Biggest lead of the game at 20. 44-24. Here's Winamac with the basketball at the other end. That's Mathis now back over to Hines. Hines to a wide open. Brzezinski up and good. Brzezinski gets two, and it's 44-26, and that'll be the final. The Warriors drop to 2-1. and one. The Zebras improved to 2-0. and oh. The final tonight on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. A 44-26, Rochester over Winamac. When we come back, we'll have the post-game show brought to you by Peterson, Wagner, and Perkins, the law firm built for your current and future legal needs. Again, the final 44-26. Zebras win it here at Rochester High School. Giant FM and RTC TV4.